Uh, all right, so I'm Jeff. I work at OpenAI on the Triton compiler and kernel performance. Before that, I worked on a language that's a little bit new. It's called Mojo. So this is a little bit of a marriage of both worlds. So basically, last week, I downloaded Mojo because there's a hackathon coming up, and I wanted to make sure I knew how to write this language. So I tried out this layout tensor. I couldn't figure it out. So you know, when you're lost and alone in a dark woods, you, you seek home, right? So I copied Triton into Mojo. Um, layout tensor is reference semantic, and it gives me a lot of like cutlass design smell when using it. And I feel like um, from like a programming abstraction perspective, there's a little bit better you can do. So instead, I copied the kind of core abstraction in Triton into Mojo, which is a value semantic tile. And what's really nice about it is that in Mojo, the layout that it gets assigned to the tile can just get propagated through the type system. So this is kind of what it looks like side by side. And I think I did a pretty good job of like faking Triton. Um, you know, there's like no types. There, there is a little sneaky bit there where on the A range you have to put in the layout, and that happens to be picked to be coalesced. But what's really nice is that, you know, I wrote this, worked on the first try. Um, it takes a batch size by 1D bool mask and turns it into um, an upper triangular for every batch for the attention mask. So yeah, I think it looks pretty good and it like really feels like home. It's a couple of square brackets here and there. And I even built built Python integrations so I could test this against reference implementations in PyTorch and also Triton. And the way this worked is I built a Vibe compiler, which basically <laughs> takes like a build file and you know it just rips over it, generates C bindings and compiles it. Maybe one day Mojo will have very nice Python integration. You can see I'm most of the way through of implementing an MOE, uh, the blocks of like the typical MOE model. And this is just something I was doing uh, over the week in preparation for the hackathon. Um, most of these implementations are correct, I think. Right, and so I just pipe this into Codex and it generates like a script and a C file. Um, and you can call this stuff from Python, it's pretty nice. So there's basically only two core abstractions. One is a trait, the layout trait. And so you can have multiple layouts, block layout, NVMMA layout, swizzled layouts, et cetera. And then the other thing is this register passable value semantic tile type. It takes a layout, takes a shape, takes a, takes a type. And inside of it, it calls the, uh, basically asks the layout for the number of actual thread elements. But then what this means is that when you're operating on the tiles, you don't think about which thread owns which element of the tensor. It's not from the perspective of an individual thread. You're thinking about like from a block perspective, from a program perspective, just like Triton. Um, and like, okay, so the obvious question is like, how does this compare to actual Triton? It's like basically worse in every way because you have the same abstractions as Triton, but none of the actual benefit of like a high level optimizing compiler. So there's a bunch of stuff that you're missing. Um, and you also don't have like an SMEM allocator, so you still have to manually manage SMEM budgets, which means that if you call like reduce twice, it doesn't reuse the shared memory between them. Um, the only good part about it is that you have this like nice mojo linter that tells you if you wrote incorrect code before you run it, which is really nice. And then kind of the next question is like, well, what does having a Triton-like interface to Mojo mean for tools that generate Triton source code? So I took something that was spit out by Torch Compile, I copy pasted it into Mojo and added like a couple types here and there and it worked. Um, so that's gonna be my hackathon project. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple of like niceties here, which is Torch Compile is mostly just fused element-wise views and reductions. And it won't do like element-wise fusion into matmols or attentions or other like things that it calls out to kublas for. But you have like native implementations and mojos of these things that take in like element-wise lambdas for the inputs and outputs. So like a pretty easy way to improve on Torch Compile here, regardless of the fact that Meta has invested a lot into the performance of Triton and like auto-tuning and all this like other stuff, just from like a design perspective, improve on it in terms of allowing fusion into some of the more coarse-grained uh, heavy compute ops like matmols. Yeah, that's it.